can't believe we're about to eat insects. So many different textures. I am so excited for this meal. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> this apparently is crocodile meat. My eyes are literally watering, like I'm about to throw up. I'll apologize on behalf of Carol to all the Thai people. Today is our last day in Chiang Rai and we've heard so many positive things about the food in North Thailand so we couldn't leave without trying it. We are currently going to Chiang Rai's street food market to try some authentic and local food and we've got a list of local dishes that we can't leave the market without trying. And maybe there's an insect on that list. <laughs> we are going to cheers to trying insects in Thailand for the first time ever. I think this courtyard is mainly food, so maybe that we will spend the whole night literally in this square. Oh, crispy egg noodles, that's my favorite. Pad Thai as well, we'll definitely be trying that tonight. And the prices are looking really good, 50 to 60 baht. Which is just slightly over one pound. Okay, we finished doing a lap to the food court and the food journey in North Thailand is about to start. Don't barcola because first item on the list is Pad Thai. Okay, we said about having Pad Thai. Bless Sorry. you. <laughs> but all of these dishes that you see are Pad Thai. So for example, you've got shrimp Pad Thai, seafood Pad Thai, crispy pork Pad Thai, and this is the one that we are going for. And a bestseller. Happens to be a bestseller, exactly. Hello, hi, Saudiha. Can you get a crispy pork pad thai, please? Starting to get busy, and it is currently seven o'clock. So the market has been open for one hour. This is the first dish of tonight, trying local food in Chiang Rai. Now, I must say, I'm slightly surprised. There is a bit of... We don't know what these are called in English, but I think it's something to do with beans. And an interesting story, let's put it that way. And I won't go into full details, but in Vietnam, we had a dish with a lot of bean roots. And let me tell you, once we got back to the hotel, I had a long talk with the bathroom. That's all I can say. That is, it's all up to your imagination. It doesn't look very moist. There's not much sauce to it. There's a lot of vegetables and noodles. Let's grab a bit of everything. It's steaming, piping hot. Mm. It's so good. The skin of the pork adds that crunchiness to the dish, which makes it spot on. To make it more interesting, we're going to rate every food that we try tonight out of 10. You didn't like it? The only thing I liked on this dish was the pork. I didn't like anything else. It's way too sweet for me. You know, I'm eating noodles, not dessert, but I think I'm just, you know, I'm really picky. So for me, I would rate this dish a five out of 10. On the other hand, I'm not gonna be very nice because it's the first dish of the night, but I will give it a solid 6.5. I think it's a good start to the evening. And to add to the vibe of our street food experience today, there's live music right behind us. The next food we want to try is cow soy, which is apparently the most popular dish in Northern Thailand. Imagine we go to the first stall and it's already there, then you will know it's very popular. Oh my God, chicken cow soy. Can we have one chicken cow soy, please? cooking up the magic potion. And it seems to be that she's cooking it all at once. I'm actually really happy with this one. There are no veggies on site. She actually put the vegetables on a separate little pot. So this could be the best meal of the night. It seems to be that the average price for the main dishes here are 60 baht, which is about one pound 30. You can't even get a Coke in the UK with one pound 30. This is a coconut curry. So I really hope it doesn't taste like coconut because you know, I don't like coconut, but we've got crispy noodles, which just looks like crisps. And digging it in, I can feel the noodles down there. So many different textures. I am so excited for this meal. The smell of curry as well is incredible. It's gonna be a messy one. Very interesting technique to eat. It's really spicy, 
for me personally. I'm just really sensitive to spice nowadays. But it's just missing salt. And once again, it's quite sweet. I don't know if that's just how food is in Northern Thailand, but I'm more of a salty person. Out of 10, I'm going to give it a seven. That's really good compared to the other one. I can actually eat this. I can really taste the coconut. I might be matching what you gave it, a seven. There we go. The most popular dish in Northern Thailand gets a seven from us. It was bound to happen to one of us. I just stained my football t-shirt brand new that we bought it yesterday. It's gonna be a messy one. Right there. I can remember someone saying they would try insects if they had any. And maybe there's an insect on that list. <laughs> and I can see insects there. Caterpillar, grasshoppers. I think that may be something that Carol will be trying tonight. I wouldn't eat more than one. There's no way. No way. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying right now. Oh, I can't. This apparently is crocodile meat. Looks like chicken. That's chicken. Ah, chicken. yeah, chicken. I think we have to try crocodile. What's a Thailand popular? Pork sausage. Pork sausage. They also have chicken ass, um, or more politely, chicken butt. Bunda. <laughs> chicken bunda. <laughs> Here comes the crocodile. <laughs> Getting a bit packed now, and also started raining so We've much. Crocodile. It doesn't have much flavor. It's very chewy. It's like eating rubber. I think it tastes like chicken, but like slightly overcooked. Would I eat it again? Maybe I don't not. No, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. It's quite chewy. It's quite. It looks like a toy, it, not really meat. It kind of tastes like horse meat. I don't know if it's just because we've, both, we've never tried this before and we're just not accustomed to it. But if I was to eat it again, I'd be like, I love crocodile. Yeah. I, like I think it. I, I much rather crispy pork. And now time for the actual traditional Thailand food. This is the pork sausage, which is very popular in the northern area. And it's got some veggies in it, and it's also a bit spicy, the lady was saying. I was not uh, informed of the vegetable A situation. tiny amount, a tiny amount. Can you eat it first then? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's gonna be a messy one. No, that's not even fair. It just went all over me, not even you. It was, it was so warm. Look at my t-shirt now. I'm gonna walk around like a 12 year old. <laughs> I think the main flavor is spice and herbs, not really the pork. Not gonna lie, I'm not a fan. The outside tastes like perfume. I'm not gonna lie, this is a two. I was going to say, it's not at the top of my list. It's definitely at the bottom with probably a 3.5. A crocodile, I'll give it a five. And the reason why it's cool for the experience, but it's definitely not my favorite meat. I think for the crocodile, I'm gonna give it a 5.5 because I liked it. It's just not used to it, but I would probably eat it again. At the start of this video, I know I said it, but we didn't see ourselves actually trying insects. But we're going to do it. Oh, well, she's preparing the basket of death. My heart is racing. I think I'll be sick. I will throw up. Oh my God. Can't believe we are doing this. We are eating freaking insects. This smells seasoned. <laughs> it smells quite good. Better than the sausage. The thing is that the grasshopper, like you can literally, <laughs> you can literally see the hairs, you can see the legs. It's nasty. All right, and let's just get on with it, no? Which one do we even go for first? The, the thinner one. Oh, it's also hard. It doesn't even bend, it's, it's been fried. Thank God. <laughs> oh, and that's a head, that's a head, definitely. We are going to cheers to trying insects in Thailand for the first time ever. I can't believe we're about to eat insects. Cheers. Three. Two, one. It's not even. It's not crunchy. It's not crunchy at all. Um, it tastes like popcorn, but I think just the concept is making me feel sick. So I need a, a drink. 
I did have in my one a bit of a pop inside. There was a bit of liquid. Uh, let's stop. Uh, let's stop. We're gonna be sick. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking like no jokes. I'm gonna be sick. Uh, the aftertaste is horrible. The aftertaste is horrible. The aftertaste is horrible. Uh. <laughs> the thing is that as you first bite it, it's not terrible. It's a bit salty. That's the only nice part of it. I think the worst part is that it actually gets stuck to your teeth. So when you think like you're done with the flavor, the legs are still in your teeth. This is why I'm washing my mouth with some iced tea. Let's tackle this one next. Okay, the one that has some liquid inside. Oh my God, it does. Oh, I can't even grab it. I'm shaking. We're going for the fatty one, the one with the big bum bum. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, it's disgusting. Oops, oops. No one's in here. I almost threw up. That's disgusting. No. Oh, I'm very sorry for it. Um, this is rude. Um, but that one. My eyes are literally watering, like I'm about to throw up. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh my god. That was so disgusting. Oh, I can't. It just exploded in my mouth. I'm crying. I am crying right now. Oh, I can't. Oh. And we've got one more which looks revolting. Just grab it by the leg. Oh. Oh. It feels good. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. This one is actually really nice. It's just a concept. It's making me feel sick because of the last one. We are leaving one of each. We can't have it again. Let's wash our mouths with our next meal. I'm probably the most famous in Thailand. Time to try the mango sticky rice. Hello. Is it mango sticky rice? Why is it so famous? Yeah. It's famous, so. <laughs> Is it, is it dessert? Yes, it's a dessert. Dessert. Okay. Koja. What's the white sauce? Um, coconut milk. Okay. Oh, okay. It's probably the dish that I was the most excited for. I've been seeing it in social media all over the place and I don't know, there was a bit of hype to try this. Oh, wow. It just smells of coconut. Oh, really nice. It's like yogurt, no? The stickiest rice you ever see. Oh, they actually put something in it to make it sticky. Yeah, you can see some <laughs> nice. <laughs> the three second rule, yeah? Trying the famous sticky rice with mango. I don't know how to feel. It's a really weird combination. The rice is really sticky. The mango is really sweet, but I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A bit of everything. The little plane. Mmm, really good. The rice is also warm and you're eating it with cold mango, but then the rice is salty. The rice is salty, the mango is sweet. You've got that moist from the coconut milk, which also <laughs> adds flavor. Rice is just rice coming out every time. It's just like an explosion of flavors. It's absolutely delicious. And I think this is probably my favorite dish. My rating for this dish would be a five. Okay, we do have to apologize. Well, I'll apologize on behalf of Carol to all the Thai people because I am giving this a solid 8.5. I thought you were gonna give like a 10. To I could eat this every day. We really hope you enjoyed our Thai food tour today. It's really been an experience and rather than just trying dishes and having dinner, it's been more like an activity, like an adventure. I think we've gathered from trying all these dishes that Thai food is all about the passion, the intense flavors. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you have any questions about Northern Thai food, then let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe.